Chairman Devin Nunes held an impromptu press conference on Wednesday where he disclosed to the media that he had evidence that Trump's transition team officials had their communications intercepted by American intelligence agencies. The intelligence community incidentally collected information about U.S. citizens involved in the Trump transition. Mr. Nunes also insinuated that Mr. Trump was among those who had their communications picked up but he never really provided any evidence to back up that claim. After making this disclosure to the media, the White House latched onto it. I somewhat do. President Trump said that it appeared to back up his claim that he had made several weeks ago, where he said in a Twitter storm that President Barack Obama had wiretapped him during the campaign. The White House spokesman, Sean Spicer, cited it. But I do think it is a starting revelation. As yet another thing that appeared to back up Mr. Trump, And then Mr. Nunes went to the White House and briefed the president on what he had found. This is information that was brought to me that I thought the president needed to know about incidental collection. After Mr. Nunes went public with this, the Democrats really went after him, and even some Republicans criticized him. On Thursday, Mr. Nunes appeared to backtrack or at least to try and clean up a bit of the mess. You know, sometimes you make the right decision, sometimes you make the wrong one, but you got to stick by what you the decisions you make. He met with House Democrats and apologized to them for bringing this information to the president before he shared it with them, the people he's supposed to be conducting an investigation with. The top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee, Adam Schiff, said that what Mr. Nunes had done raised all sorts of questions about the credibility of the investigation. How could Mr. Nunes be an impartial investigator if he was trying to help the Trump White House back up a claim that had been widely disputed by the FBI director, the Justice Department, and members of the Obama administration? What Mr. Nunes had also done is resurrected the idea of an independent commission. Every Democrat in the House has co-sponsored a bill that would create an independent commission, a 9-11 style body that would look into issues around the election. Republicans have said that this idea is unnecessary and the White House has vehemently opposed it. As questions are now being raised about the future of the House investigation, it puts all the more pressure on Mark Warner, the top Democrat on the Senate Intelligence Committee. He is working with the top Republican on that committee, Richard Burr of North Carolina, to try and conduct an investigation into this same issue.